the world. Death Note. Yes. Come on, man. What's going on, guys? Today we're going to be going over the top 10 anime openings. That's 10? Might be more than 10. That's like 14. We're going to we're gonna go until we stop. <laughs> but what are we going to start off with first, bro? We got Grenge by Demon Slayer. You went with that. Platinum hit off the top. That's crazy. Yep. I don't know if we keep this up, but that that's one is tough. straight gas on me, bro. Yes. This might be like everybody's like cousin's favorite. <laughs> like for the person that you don't watch anime, this is their favorite anime opening. Hundred percent. This one was tough as heck. I gotta go with one for the OGs, okay? For your uncles. That's gonna be Bluebird and Naruto. Couldn't miss it. Come on, man. Could <laughs> not miss it. Now, mind you, Naruto has a bunch of tough openings, but to me, like, Bluebird just hits different, bro. Like, every time I hear it, it just brings back a part of my life that I was just like, dang, life was good. <laughs> that joint was tough, man. Crossing Field from Sword Art Online. Mm. That one is so gas. It made the anime so much better. I was going to say, that got me through the weird last half of the first season of Sword Art Online. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Because the show was eh, but that opening, jeez, that joint was clean, bro. Got the hero from One Punch Man. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know you was messing with that. You lied if you say you did it, bro. That joint was iconic. And the first season was fire, bro. No misses there. We got Inferno from Fire Force. Hmm, another platinum hit. Absolute banger. Yeah. Absolute banger. A lot of y'all couldn't watch Fire Force because of Tamaki, man. Y'all acting like y'all too grown for that. But Inferno? That joint was tough. Life changer. Oh my god. That was one of the best anime openings I'd heard since like Fairy Tale back in the day. For real, for real. Unravel. Tokyo Ghoul. Get to the piano up. Hey, that joke crazy. <laughs> I feel like half of the anime on here, like the anime was okay, but then the opening was just god tier. And this is one of them, okay? Because yeah. Tokyo Ghoul fell off after the first season, but Unravel, that's in the playlist till this day, man. That is a certified classic. This one's an outro, but it's it's Ooh. Bail by Fire Force. I didn't even think of any outro, so I'm gonna have to think of some in a second now, but that that's tough. That's definitely one of the better outros out here, man. After that though, the world. Death note. Yes. Come on, man. <laughs> I can't even do it. Hey, that was but good. you know <laughs> That was good. That was good. Come on, man. That was good. And Death Note, bro, I don't know. I feel like Death Note now, like people, this is where I feel like I might be unk. You know what I'm saying? I'd be trying to talk about Death Note. They'd be like, ugh, the animation wasn't that good. I'm like, man, that joint was fire. Yes. <laughs> you don't know what we had back then, man. But Death Note, the show was fire. That opening was fire, bro. Had you on your edge of your seats, man. You got Ch Chala Head Chala by DBZ. Chala Head Chala. Chala. All right. Gas. Gas. All right, all right. Gas. That's a little bit more of a nostalgia bait, but it's still really good nostalgia bait. Gas. <laughs> I ain't even gonna Absolute lie. Gas. That's childhood right there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a Dragon Ball hater, but I you def I was singing that on Saturday mornings. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> we got Black Catcher. From Black okay. Clover, bro. I feel like a lot of people haven't really like kept up with Black Clover because the first season, especially if you like watching it, um, <laughs> Dubbed, actually stubbed or subbed. That dude was loud as heck. Whoever asked his voice actor was, that man was screaming. <laughs> I was sick. But what I will say is the openings, fire, man. And I think Black Catcher is the best one. It comes like about like halfway through the show. It was like opening like six or something. <laughs> but that joint was a masterpiece. I don't know what it's called, but it's whenever you wake up at four in the morning and you heard that song from Inuyasha and it goes, Boku Dachi Wa. Yeah, that's gas. <laughs> oh, me. Fire. Yeah, that was Fire. clean, man. Yeah, you wouldn't even know. You just randomly wake oh, up. Oh, me. It was. And you heard that song in the middle of the night and you're like, what is oh, this? Oh, that was melody? ingrained in my. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll bet your parents get mad at you because you weren't supposed to be up watching television. And that's how you get caught. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you hear that joint in the background, man. Honestly, Inuyasha was one of those shows, at least for me, that a lot of the times, like, I didn't know what was going on. Because yes. they would just play it at random times, and sometimes they would just, like, skip arcs. <laughs> but the openings and endings, yes. Yes. Super, super tough, man. I got to go with one of my favorites, and that's going to be, again, from Full Metal Alchemist Brother. That joint is fire, bro. I know nothing about that one. So. Look. What about the Alchemist Brotherhood? Honestly, if I had to be real, they could look go band for band with the whole list. But they they got like four fire openings. Like I mean, like fire openings. I'm gonna have to hear that from somebody else, not you. It, I'm not even gonna look. If you know, you know. Okay, they Loki was not missing whatsoever on, on Brotherhood. The first Full Metal Alchemist, ah, you might have got me. <laughs> they don't really got nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They got like maybe one, but. Brotherhood, it was cooking, but I think again was the best one. We got colors from Code Geass. Undisputed. <laughs> yes. That one's that one's really high up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that might be top two. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's Absolutely. a really good one, man. Dang. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'd be forget I'd be sleeping on Gold Geass sometimes, but yeah, that one's ingrained in my brain too, man. That's a clean opening. How about Gurren no Yumiya? The first opening for Attack on Titan. <laughs> That is gas. Bro, if that was the if that was the recruitment song for the army, I'm in there. Boy, didn't have me in there. How did they do that little, He's lying. The little salute? <laughs> what? He's lying. Up, man. Come on. That was one of the hardest anime songs of all time. Before Demon Slayer, like that that song walks on Demon Slayer's Gurren, um the first Demon Slayer opening could run, okay? That song was tough. Everybody was singing that joint, man. That, that is Sasagi or an after that? Yeah. Attack yes. on Titan really had a run, okay? They did. That was tough. We got the honorable mention. We got Freaking You from JoJo. <laughs> not Jodeci. <laughs> they was out of pocket for putting Every that at the end. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. They was cooking though. <laughs> and Loki matches like the JoJo like vibes it does too. Yeah, the matches the aesthetic. For sure. That's like you know how yeah. sometimes you be like watching an anime, you be like, yo, like this like legit like regular like rap song would go so good with this. Like they they did that. So that's definitely legendary. Hey, hey. I don't know how they got the the, <laughs> the clearance on that. They might have got sued, yeah, but it was knows. worth every penny, bro. Because every single time part five was ending, I'd be in that joint <laughs> <laughs> moving. And Loki, your favorite character just died, but you still be in there like, yeah. Every time, man. Y'all let us know if we missed any really good openings or endings on this list. We didn't really do endings like that, so we might have to redo this video and get some endings in there, because there's definitely some fire we missed when it comes to that. But other than that, we'll catch y'all. Peace.